Hi, yeah, it's Ali here coming today with uh, Funky Fossils Project. Um, I've actually made a bit of a start on it so that you don't have to see me doing a whole lengthy um, amount of process, but I, I will go through it and explain what I've done. Um, today, I'm actually working with one of our uh, previous stamp sets. Um, I'm working with the Coral Reef. Um, which is, I, I was going to say is one of my favourites but to be fair they're all my favourite, I love them all but this one particularly because it's got the beautiful turtles in it's got the gorgeous coral reef uh, stamping uh, the little tiny teeny fish and a beautiful little um, seahorse <laughs> um, and an octopus there and uh, looks like he's fast asleep and then the two sentiments on this one is go with the flow and dive deep just so that you can see um with the stamps they are absolutely fantastic the image on the front is not really indicative of the size of the stamps the stamps are huge and if you look at this um coral reef um sort of stamp here it's actually the size of my hand so it is quite um, a large stamp and of course the turtles are probably about a third there so they are big stamps so don't be fooled by the pictures on the front of the stamp sets they are pretty good size and um, brilliant for mixed media projects <clears throat> excuse me as well as your card projects so today I'm going to do a little bit of a mixed media project. I'm just going to pop my camera up one little bit, just one second. Nope, go the other way, there we go. Um, so basically the products that I'm using today are the Coral Reef stamp set, which is what we've just had a look at. I'm going to be using two of the Funky Fossil um, stencil sets, stencils, should I say. Um, the first one is Wave Rider. I'm uh, just going to grab a cards so that you can see that so we've got wave rider which is the um fantastic surfboards at the top there um and the waves at the bottom with wave rider in between quite enjoy that one there's lots of scope for different things you can do with that and the second one is the beautiful sea spray and um, i use this quite regularly with the um little mermaid uh, stamps but that'll come in another video as well so um, I can show you how I use this with the mermaids. The other product that I'm going to be using along with this is the gorgeous watercolour rainbow paper pack. Um, I've showed you this before. It is fabulous. It lends itself to so many um, different projects. Uh, and the papers are just beautiful. They're so yummy. I uh, absolutely love them and what I've done with this is I've stamped out the turtles and then just cut, cut them out so that I get that beautiful um, oops, Daisy, that beautiful watercolour effect on those gorgeous turtles. So to start the project I've actually taken um, a thick piece of watercolour card and I've used Salty Ocean and Prickly Pear in the background and I've used the um C stencil the bit here on the bottom and I've gone through that to give the impression of waves on there and then using the C spray stencil what I've actually done there is gone through with some crackle paste and if you can see there if I can bring it up so that you can see that beautiful stencil there has gone through and that gorgeous crackle um absolutely beautiful i absolutely love this so that is how i've prepared it and i'm actually going to make this into a bit of a canvas uh, project and put it onto um a thick piece of colored gray board it's actually a photo mount is this but it's very very thick so i can use it to mount my project onto so that then you can get um a picture board or something you can put it in and you can actually frame it if you want to so I'm just going to t t pop that to one side so that it doesn't get mucky and what have you. And I'm going to basically just finish this off with you. So I'm just going to pop this up a little bit more. There we go. I thought I'd get a bit closer but it's uh, it's not getting too close, a bit too close. So 
what I'm going to do to finish it off, I've got some of my favourite paints, which is the uh, gold paints. It's the uh, Gans. Oh, I can never say this word. It's the Gansai Tamba Tambi and it's the starry colours and I use this oh my goodness me very rarely it goes back in its pocket in its packet so it's it's invariably sat on my desk like that all the time so I'm going to use that because I just love putting that nice pearlescent in the background I'm going to use um pearly winks pearl mist on it to give it a little bit more of a misty at the end so um, there's that one there and I'm going to use, I had an idea earlier, so how can I make these stand out a little bit more? So I'm going to grab my ink tense pencils from day once and I'm going to grab the blue one. Now I'm hoping this is going to work because I haven't actually used this technique before. I've seen it done on YouTube and some of my friends do it. Um, but I've never been confident enough to have a go. Um, sort of putting the depth in this way I usually use a pen or whatever um, so I'm actually going to try and do so what they say is go around it with your pen and then follow it with a water brush and just pull pull it out like so, so yeah that's yeah it is making it stand out a little bit isn't it so if I just go around these and there we go and it's yeah I like that it's, like I say I'm I'm kind of getting back into mixed media I did use to enjoy doing it once upon a time and then I got heavily back into my card making again um and so I kind of I know it sounds daft but I kind of lost my mojo um for the mixed media i kind of lost the remember you know of, of how to do it i you know i sat down to do something i thought oh my goodness what am i going to do how am i going to start it again but i must admit this last few weeks um i've kind of got that mojo back again um and all i've done is i've just sort of sat down at my craft desk and thrown a project or well, I'm saying thrown a project thrown um an amount of products on my table and said to myself right make something with that and I think sometimes when you have a lot of things on your table um it can be overwhelming so I just put it down to one stamp set uh you know one washi tape pick some colours and then with what I've got make something and it kind of becomes less uh, daunting, a little bit less, not intimidating I guess, but a little bit less frightening. Um, and yeah, I've been quite enjoying what I've been doing. And I've had some lovely messages on my Facebook pictures and my Instagram and I really appreciate all each and every one of those so thank you so much um it's really really nice to have the lovely messages and it certainly um you know it encourages me to come and sit a bit more and just share what i do because I, I i don't know how other people feel but you know i sit down and i play and i think well does anybody actually really want to watch me do these things? And um, and, I th and from the feedback, it's been amazing. And I've had some people send me, um, this week particularly, um, especially with Funky Fossil Projects, um, sending me pictures of what they've made and said, oh, we watched you do this last week, or we watched you do that on the video, or we saw this card. And it really encouraged me to have a go at this. And it's really, really nice, is that? Because you feel like you've inspired somebody else to do something. Which is how it got me into it. So, anyway, I think I'm starting to waffle a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... So, I've, I've done that and I've put a little bit of um, definition on there. I'm just going to... A little bit more... 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my um, my gold spray. So all I do is just give it a little bit of a spray into the paint. Kind of prime it, I guess. I'll just grab my little fan brush. And I love this one here. It's the it's kind of the mid gold colour. And all I'm going to do is just plonk it on. Okay. And then the other colour that I love is the white gold. And that's just got a beautiful um, sheen on it. It just gives like a pearl essence. Um, effect to it I end up I usually just put a bit of everything on in the end <laughs> there we go so that's that and I'm going to have to remember that the drink of water that I brought in I've actually used to wipe my paint off with um, because I forgot to bring my water in for my brush. So remind me, I mustn't drink out of that glass. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a quick blast to dry the um, shimmery gold off. Bear with me one second. Okay, so that's all nice and dry there. Just look at that sparkle, isn't it beautiful? absolutely beautiful so I'll be lay laying down another layer of sparkle in a second so I'm just going to grab my pearly inks um, it's actually the pure pearl spray so when you use this shake it from side to side remember don't shake it up and down uh, or you'll get your tube cl clogged and you'll have to unclog it so shake it from side to side and then you get that oh look at that it's, it's just yummy so yummy and then all I'm going to do is just a couple of sprays there I say a couple a good three four sprays and then if you look at that now the shine on there is divine absolutely divine so I'm just going to give that another blast off to finish that so bear with me one second and that's nice and dry now and it's usually when it dries that you see the full um, sort of wow factor of all that shine and pearl essence look at that absolutely beautiful love it right so I'm just going to decide which orientation I actually want this to be and I'll bring my little turtles in and I think we'll have them going something like that okay I quite like that bubble effect that's going around there from the turtles so I am going to just bring in um she says where are you right, I've got my little white silicone palette here so I'm just going to bring that in and turn it over because I'm just going to edge the actual project with some salty ocean distress ink so I'm just going to grab my brush, load that up and just to bring the project in a little bit like so. Okay. Let's take those white edges off really so it doesn't look too white. You've got this in the middle and then suddenly it's all white so I'm going to take that just turn that over so we've got that ready there and I think I'm just going to try and I'll just I, it may work it may not I don't know I'm just going to pop on the top a little bit of the inks hence just across there and then grab my water pen and just there we go I'm going to do the same along the bottom so don't press down too hard when you're doing this just do a 
like a, a little bit of a okay so I've not really had much of a chance to use the um the ink tense pencils well it's not that I haven't had a, ch a chance it's I've been a bit reticent about doing it because not just sure um, you know how they work properly so I've, I've not really practiced with them very much so here we go we can have a bit of a practice here together and see how it comes out so that's that's okay yeah quite like that quite like the way that it's um sort of framing the project as well okay so pop that to one side and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my lovely turtles and grab my glue gel and as usual my glue gel is clogged up i don't know what it is about this glue gel I don't know whether I'm not leaving it properly at the end or I always leave it with a little bit of a bit sticking out so that the air doesn't get to it but I always have to unclog it so see what happens just use a little pin there to always the same there we go right so i'm just going to put some glue gel on our beautiful turtles okay nice big blob and we're going to have this one going up to meet his friend up there i think okay Got plenty of glue gel on there pop him coming down to meet him like so okay and then I've just got two little um, stickers from I'm saying it's stickers it's not stickers it's actually the uh, washi tape from Funky Fossil this brilliant tape here which has got all the um, little sentiments on and there are so many okay so I've got I'll pop that on straight I think so we've got epic and bravo I think we'll have that down here and I think we'll find another one actually pop that one there bring him down a little bit and we can have one up here now then let's have a look so we've got uh, let's have awesome so I'm just going to do a little I'm just ripping it because with it being mixed media it doesn't absolutely doesn't have to be perfect so we've got awesome epic and bravo okay and then I'm just going to grab some of my um, oops a daisy my water gems so I'm going to wipe off the glue gel that I've just managed to get on the bottom of my pearl box so bear with me for a second there we go Right, so I'm going to grab my water gems. They're my absolute favourite. And um, let's grab a pair of tweezers. They're hiding. So I'm just going to squish him down a little bit and he's not too proud. So I'm just going to grab a couple of these. Then pop them 
them down. So we've just got a couple of those little gems popping there. And I think that we'll call that um, finished. What I'll do is I'll just grab my little piece of photo mount and then that's going to sit on the top. So once that is completely dry um, and flat, I can use some double sided red liner tape and I can pop that down and that will go onto there like so and that's just created a lovely little uh, mixed media piece very easy very quick using the fabulous products from funky fossils so i shall just go through what we used again if you want to go and get your products it's um www.funkyfossil.co.uk and that will take you to the uh, website but if you look down in my description box below I'll actually put the link in there as well and I'll put the link in for our Facebook group as well so that you can come and join us and share with us what you make with your products and also um, just join in with the fabulous group for uh, lots of inspiration some fantastic people in there we have a good um, chat with um, you know with the members questions in there you can ask uh, it's really good it's a lovely little community with um, like-minded people who just want to share their um, mix and what have you so we have used the funky fossils coral reef uh, stamp set so that's obviously the star of the show with the funky fossils stencils and I've used the sea spray, pop it on there. I've used the sea spray stencil, okay, and I have used the wave rider on there as well. And they are just so useful for any any projects, and I will be using it for further projects in these videos. So just keep your eye open. Um, they aren't one shots. They can be used for so many things. It's just thinking sometimes outside the box as well um, with your stencils, what you want to create with them. And I've also used the absolutely beautiful watercolor rainbow. Um, paper pack which has got 36 papers in 12 designs so there's lots and lots to play with um, it will last you quite a while um, there are two sizes there is the 6x6 which is this one and there is an 8x8 as well so absolutely gorgeous yummy papers and again these are acid and lignum free so if you aren't just yet confident enough um, or don't have the products to make the backgrounds just yet you can use these as your starting points and you can use uh, inks over the top so obviously I've used the um, Versafine over the top of these and they come out beautiful you can emboss over the top and um, you can put them through your embossing machine and um, and you can do pretty much as long as you're not throwing a lot of liquid at the, the paper and um, you can do pretty much anything it's just fantastic and it is a good weight paper as well so lots and lots and lots of things you can do and again i will be using this in other videos so you can see the other things that I make as well so I'm going to leave this with you for now um, and I hope you enjoyed that I hope you like the project that has come at the end of it and I will be with you really soon for another video using the Funky Fossils products so thanks again for sitting with me today and I'll see you really soon bye <music>